Hey there, William here. Just wanted to post a quick video covering the work that I did yesterday evening, which was really good. But uh, first we need a disclaimer. If you follow the steps in this video, you'll end up with a Hub6 device that's just an open WRT router. And by doing that, it will no longer be possible to use this as a Hub6 device, even if Hub6 resumes business operations. So that is a note of caution and what you do is at your own risk. So now let me show you how this thing works and it's really easy to do this actually. So on the bottom of the Hub6 device, this button right here at the bottom, that is a hardware reset. And the bootloader, because we can see the console, actually is looking for a certain number of seconds to hold down the visible reset button to put this device into different modes. So if we hold down the reset button on the side, and if we insert a pin in that, and now let go, we have a long flash, then one, two, three, four, let go. Now the device has started a web server listening on 192.168.255.1. So on the browser over here, if I hit that, I now have Dragino firmware update. Downloading the file from OpenWRT is as simple as just clicking the link and getting that file. So I'm going to choose that file on the browser and I'll upload OpenWRT. And it's actually a newer version too. So I'm going to click on update firmware and we can see over here on the serial console, the device is now flashing itself. This is as easy as it gets. The flashing process will complete and we'll end up with an OpenWRT router uh, handing out DHCP on the wired gigabit ethernet port at 192.168.1.1. So we can already see the flash is in progress. Now it's rebooting. And these LEDs on here, they're the usual blinking boot sequence that OpenWRT does as it initializes the flash memory. So now we just have to wait for this to finish and we're going to go and log into the web interface and what we have at this point is uh, just an open WRT router with an LTE USB modem on it. So I'm going to pop in a new SIM card and uh, set up SMS messaging and LTE data on there. So being that we have uh, 802.11n single channel 150 megabit radio, gigabit ethernet, uh, LTE. I didn't look up if it's like a Cat6 LTE or not. This is a really nice piece of hardware. And of course, because we have a USB port exposed, Pretty much the sky's the limit. It's just a matter of plugging in a USB hub. You could have this thing playing streaming music or sound effects if the alarm gets tripped. Now, what, what I didn't do here is I did not modify Hub6's firmware. And the reason for that is intellectual property gets complicated and there were custom binaries on this device without the source code. So how does this device work? There's a microcontroller up at the top there. And I suspect that's actually the device that handles the alarm keypad communication probably over a serial bus. I have to do more research to understand that. There's also a UHF radio that was used with the uh, emergency fob too. So there's a few pieces of hardware to understand, but I mean, anyone that's used OpenWRT, just by having this thing where you can log in and do whatever you like, and we're running a newer version of the software, four years newer uh, than the one that was on there as a factory shipped product. This is a great state. So let's see. Do we have a console? Yeah, there we go. We got OpenWRT. So now if we go over to the PC here, I've got another subnet set up on there. So 192.168.1.1. And there's our OpenWRT. We'll click on login. We have no password because it's a fresh install. And we're good to go. So now I can go look in here at the interfaces. I don't have the LTE modem yet because we have to install the USB for that. But there's, there's my LAN and my WAN and let's see here so that the LAN interface is the uh, gigabit ethernet port if I go to wireless the wireless interface shows up as an 802.11 BGN and the AP is disabled by default and of course SSH and everything else is uh, ready to go so there you have it um, for me, I think this is a great start to the point where I actually want to hook this back up to the key bus. And even though I've purchased the competing product now, I'm actually going to run this in parallel and uh, treat it as a development device as I keep learning the hardware of this device and, and go from there. But it's really easy. Anyone that's done open WRT work at this point, they, you don't even have to take the screws out. However, because we have an LTE device, if you order up that slotted spanner bit off Amazon, you can just open this up, pop out the SIM card, shove a new SIM card in here, and you have, you know, an LTE hotspot, if nothing else. So that's the great start. 
I hope you like this and uh, for all the folks that are technically inclined, here's uh, the information you need. So once again, when you hold down that button at the bottom here, that's the hard reset, then hold down the button on the side, release the hard reset, watch for a long, long flash followed by four short flashes, then let go of the button. That puts it into an HTTP recovery mode where you can access the device at 192.168.255.1 upload the OpenWRT firmware image, which you can find in OpenWRT 19 for Dragino, and wait for it to flash, then log into OpenWRT and go have fun with the hardware. There you go. Use at your own risk. For the people that know how to do this, well, I think you probably know all about this anyway. Take care.